Hello again everyone. In this example, we are going to solve this cubic equation whose one of the term, which is x squared, is missing. And eventually we're going to check our answer as well. So before we get started, I want you to write down this equation like this way. x power 3 plus, since x squared is missing term, I'm going to write down 0 times x squared plus 2x plus 3 equal to 0. In this step, what we're going to do is we're going to add the coefficient of alternative terms. So that means you're going to add these two coefficients and these coefficients as well. So what happens? 1 and 2 makes, when you add them, that makes 3. And 0 and 3, when you add them, that makes 3 as well. So what do you see right now? This number 3 and this number 3, both are equal or both are same. And now we're going to be following this rule. This rule states that if these two numbers are turns out to be same then one of our solution is going to be x equal to negative 1 for sure so one of our solution turns out to be negative 1 so next step we're gonna use the synthetic division so I put down these coefficients 1 0 2 and 3 from our original equation 1 0 2 and 3 are the coefficients okay now one of our solution we know that x equals to negative 1 so that means this negative 1 is gonna go right up here so let's go ahead and get started with our synthetic division so this 1 is gonna come down as it is over here now we're going to multiply this negative 1 times 1. So that is going to make negative 1 right up here. 0 and negative 1 is going to give you negative 1. I want you to multiply this negative 1 diagonally with negative 1. So that's going to give us positive 1. 2 plus 1 makes 3. 3. And then again, multiply this negative 1 times 3. That's going to make negative 3. 3 and negative 3, when you add them, it's going to give us 0 as a remainder. So now we have 1 with x square, negative 1 with the x, and 3 without x. So we got simply this become 1x square minus 1x plus 3 equals to 0. So now we're going to be using quadratic formula to solve this quadratic equation. So here is the quadratic formula on the right hand side. We will be using that one. In our this quadratic equation we got a equals to 1 b equal to negative 1 and c equal to 3 let's plug it in in that formula so x equal to negative times negative 1 plus minus b squared is going to be a negative 1 square minus 4 times a is 1 c is 3 everything is divisible by 2 times 1. Let's simplify this thing. That's going to give us 1 plus minus 1 minus 12 divided by 2. So that's going to give us 1 plus or minus square root of negative 11 over 2. And now I want you to focus on this negative, negative number under this radical or the square root. Whenever you have a negative number, 
then this becomes an imaginary number where i equals to square root of negative 1. So we can write this as 1 plus or minus i, i is an imaginary number, times square root of 11 divided by 2. Thus our complete solution set is going to be uh, negative 1 from the previous step. We figured out x equals to negative 1, 1 over solution and the rest is 1 plus i times square root of 11 divided by 2 and the third solution is 1 minus i square root of 11 divided by 2. So this is our solution set in complex number. But if we are looking for only real solution, then x equal to negative 1 is going to be only real solution. So that's going to be negative 1 as our real solution. And finally, we're going to check our answer or our solutions. So what I want you to do is I want you to add all your solutions right up here. I'm going to put down 1 plus whatever these three solutions are. 1 over 2 plus i square root of 11 divided by 2 and then plus 1 over 2 minus i square root of 11 divided by 2 and my question is it equal to minus b over a now you might be wondering what is a and what is b our in our original cubic equation a is 1 b is 0 c is 2 d is 3 so that means minus b over a is going to be negative 0 over 1 so that's going to be a 0 so that means minus b over a turns out to be 0 so let's check the left hand side now as you can see that these two terms they simply cancel each other out we know that 1 plus 1 is 1 over 2 plus 1 over 2 is 1. And one more thing, I made a mistake over here. This is negative 1 instead of positive 1 because 1 over solution is negative 1. So I want you to put down this thing. So negative 1 plus a half and a half makes 1. So that means it's going to be 0 on the left hand side and 0 on the right hand side. They are both equal, yes. That means we check our solution. Thanks for watching and please subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos.